In this problem, we're being asked to multiply these two things together. Um, and what we have here are what's called complex conjugates. So you'll notice this 3 minus 6i. That's a complex number because it's got a real part and an imaginary part uh, put together. At 3 minus 6i and 3 plus 6i are conjugates of each other. They're binomial terms with a different sign in between. So we're going to do some work just multiplying these out. And I think the way that I would recommend doing this first is to think of this as one thing and this as one thing and FOIL them to start with. So if I were to FOIL, I'd do the first terms. So x times x is x squared. And I would do the outside terms. So that would be x times a negative uh, 3 plus 6i. So that would be minus x times 3 plus 6i. And then I would do the inside terms. That's going to be a minus x times 3 minus 6i. And then the last terms, these two together, and we'll just write them like this. Uh, it's a negative times a negative, so it's going to be a positive 3 plus 6i times 3 minus 6i. OK, we've got a lot more simplifying to do, but that's the first step. We've just basically foiled this. So let's multiply through our uh, negative x here and our negative x here, and let's FOIL this out. So x squared and minus 3x, so that's negative x times the 3, and minus 6xi. And then here we get a minus 3x. That's negative x times 3 there. And a plus 6, uh, 6xi. So this is a negative x times a negative 6i. That's a positive 6xi. So we've done these two chunks. So let's FOIL this part out. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then the outside terms would be 3 times a negative 6i. So minus 18i. And then the inside terms would be 3 times a positive 6i, so plus 18i. And then the last terms would be a negative 36i squared. So that's a 6i times a negative 6i is negative 36i squared. All right, so at this point, it's looking pretty complicated. There's a lot of numbers here, but uh, there are some parts we can cancel out. So now is the time to stop and uh, do some addition and subtraction of things that add up to 0. You'll notice here we have a negative 6xi, and here we have a positive 6xi. So those two chunks add up to 0. So I can just erase those. Here I have a negative 18i and a positive 18i. Those add up to 0. So I can just erase those. Now let's rewrite what we have then. So I've got an x squared. And we might as well combine some like terms while we're at it. I have a negative 3x and a negative 3x. So that's minus 6x. And then I have a 9 and a negative 36i squared. But ask yourself for a moment, what is i squared? Well, i is the square root of negative 1. So i squared is the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. That is just negative 1. So when you see an i squared, think in your head negative 1. And this is negative 1 times a negative 36, so it's plus 36. So I've got 9 plus 36, which adds up to 45. And this is our answer. So that is a little bit of work with multiplying these expressions with complex conjugates.